hello guys so today we are gonna see how we can make the wing section of this aircraft so as you can see here the normal shape of the wing it is not a straight wing it is curved in this direction so when you are viewing from the front it is curved so it's not only that it is also curved when you're viewing from the top as well as when you're viewing from the side so you have a mixing of two curves so that you get a curve in the 3d a 3d curve out of it so to get that we have to make use of a feature in SolidWorks which is called the projected curve that comes under curves so let's see how we're gonna do that today so let's just start the new project the new part so as we did before we are just going to import two images using the sketch tool function so sketch picture take the blueprint in and remember we did the scaling of the image so that it is the real scale of the aircraft itself we are going to do the same here as well so along with that earlier what we did is we were we brought the nose of the aircraft to the point of origin but this time we are not going to do that we are just bringing the beginning of this wing to the point of origin so that the wing is having the point of origin as a reference point so it, all this is just like mm, just a vague thing we are not doing it precise we are just doing it for fun okay so I have to make that part clear so this is for the right view and that's done and we need one more uh, one more image to make the guide curves that is on the top view so we're gonna, again gonna put the sketch tools sketch picture there the blueprint and as you can see it is tilted 90 degrees so we're just gonna tilt it back 90 degrees and we are gonna use this section this image and this point at, on here is gonna be on the origin so that both the uh, the beginning the beginning of the wing on both these pictures or both these viewers are views are gonna be on the origin so again we have to scale this up there we go and let's bring it to the origin approximately somewhere there just okay there we go we have it there as well and then in this in this view we're just gonna make a a rough line or something so that we're just having the length of the wing so the wing is approximately this long so yeah that will be good and that's it so we got the length of the wing or the length of the base of the wing or the length of the whatever okay now let's get let's get sketching it so you take the right plane and you just start sketching the outline so here uh, so we have the approximate shape of the wing I guess that'll be good okay so we have that now we don't need this I don't think we need that we'll just hide it so the next trick is we have to give a guide point we have to, we have to draw two sketches from this point to the very end of the wing and also two sketches from this point to the very end of the wing so that we are having guidelines for the leading edge and the trailing edge of the wing for that we are going to use two planes as reference so since this this point is in the origin when compare when we are talking about the wing since this point is the origin for the right plane and for the top plane we don't have to create any more uh, extra planes for that but for this this point it has to be 
uh, we have to create new reference planes for that because it's not a falling in tune with this point anywhere so we have to make two reference planes for that one plane is going to be on the top plane and the top plane with reference to this there we go and then we should have another plane that is the front plane that is in reference to this there we go we have two planes ready so the next step is it's better if we just mark these trailing edge base and then trailing edge whatever you feel like doing so we got that now we're gonna draw the guide curve or the lines for the composite curve that makes the leading guide curve so for that we're just going for the top plane okay and we're gonna sketch out this leading edge of this uh, on this wing so the first guide curve first composite curve for the guide curve is done and next we have to draw the guide curve for the front view but the other thing is we don't have a front view so what we have to do is we have to as we did before sketch tools sketch picture blueprint and so we are going to use this as our guide curve that's the front of it so there we go and we're just gonna sketch it and before we do that we have to put a a, guy, uh, a stop there so you can see here it is not aligning properly but it did align properly when we look through the uh, look from the top view right so I guess we can just go with that okay so that's where being ends so we just draw another spline from this point yes well, that's good enough so we have that and now we're going to do some magic here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this curve and this curve and gonna create a curve that is in three dimensions so it's just gonna use go to features go to curves project curve and it, it, it sometimes it will be in sketch on phases we have to put sketch on sketch and then select this curve and this curve so it gives us a curve there you go a beautiful looking curve and that's all what we need for the leading edge and you do the same for the trailing edge it is it is a bit more easier when when you are talking about the trailing edge because we don't have this uh, whole weird looking curve like we had here it's gonna be much more easier 
So for the trailing edge, we are going to use this trailing edge base and the trailing edge curve, not the right plane and the front plane. We are going to use the new planes that we had already referenced from both these planes. So we are going to use the trailing edge base curve, the trailing edge base plane and the trailing edge plane. So we use that and just sketch it. So here we have both the trailing edge curves drawn so this is the curve which is view which is drawn when viewed from the front uh, i just used the curve that i use for the late, uh, leading edge as a reference because there's no rear view of this aircraft in this picture so i used this curve as a as a as a guide for that and then from when viewed from the top view we have another curve that is sketched out which falls in tune with this line it, not really here it's just an adjustment to that so I guess that will be good for these two curves so we're gonna use the project curve feature and taking this curve and this curve together there we go we got another curve so we have both the guide curves that we needed and there we go we have the first sketch we have both the guide curves now we need the end curve so we don't know where these two points are in the plane i mean in this 3d 3d space we don't know where these two points are so anyway this point this point and this point are in the same plane because i drew both these both the guide curves from the top so that it aligns itself on the same plane so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a reference plane from the right view right plane and just gonna click on one of these points so that it creates a plane that connects both these points so these two points are falling on that plane so i'm i'm gonna use this plane to draw the last sketch for this wing and for that I'm just gonna use a normal so if you if you want to make it uh, if you want to make your life easier you just take these two curves convert the entity so that you can get these two points on that plane that will be much easier for you to get that reference here so your your sketch tool just snaps onto that point so, so that will be good so we have both the things that we need, both the points that we need, both the guide curves that we need, both the sketches that we need. Now we just have to use a law function. And let's see if it's gonna work. So there we go, and that's the basic shape of the wing that we have there. So loft at base. Gonna use this curve. And this sketch and this sketch so it's gonna give us a really bad loft oh it's not bad well yeah it is kind of bad so we're gonna use the guide curves now fingers crossed mm -hmm. nope we have to make these two points yeah there we go Oh yes, so that's how you make a loft and a beautiful looking wing. So there you go. That's how you make a wing as a general idea about how to make a wing. The good thing about this thing is that you can do your own stuff on this like this is not the only way to make a wing you know we can use many other features here the thing is I have not thought about the other stuff here but this is a good tool like uh, this is more perfect than just using the 2d planes so definitely I don't think this is the way to do 
when you are talking about the engineering aspect of this but I guess this is this looks pretty good like from the front from the side uh, it looks really good like a just like the wing of a modern jetliner so if you have any comments just please uh, share it with me if you have any questions please ask me on the comments like my video subscribe I'm really sorry for uploading my next video this late because I was busy with some stuff it's not an excuse because I am a student I have classes to attend so <laughs> that's another part of my life so there we go that's how you make a wing